Hello, this video is to demonstrate how to make the bobble stitch, which you can see from this piece is this lovely texture on here. Now the things to note for the bobble is that it works to the back of your work. So when you make the stitches, they push out towards the back. So it's always going to show on the back. So you'll want to make sure that for this stitch, that you do it on alternate rows so that they always face out the same way. Unless of course you're making a blanket or something that you want it to be textured like that on both sides, then you could do it on every row as well. Now for this one, I'm also doing a single crochet in between the stitches and that just makes the bobble push down a little bit more, which will make it push out that little bit. If you did a double crochet in the middle, it would stand that little bit taller, not have quite the same amount of texture. So it's similar to a cluster um, where you're essentially making double crochets into one stitch, but you're not completing the stitch. So you're only doing part of one. So if you're familiar with a double crochet, you yarn over and insert the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook. And then if you're making a double crochet, you would yarn over again and pull through those last two to make the stitch. But we're not going to finish that stitch. For this bobble, we're going to make five double crochet. So we're gonna do that part way five times. Okay, so that was another one. So we yarn over, insert the hook. So it goes into the same stitch or the same space for every single one. So insert the hook, yarn over and pull up that loop. Then yarn over, pull through just the first two. And you're gonna keep repeating that until you've got six loops on your hook. So if you were doing a four bobble, four stitch bobble, you would have five loops. We're doing a five stitch bobble, so we're gonna have six loops. So you'll always have one more loop than you do stitch if you're doing it right. So if you lose track, that's all you need to do is count how many loops or hoops loops are on your hook okay so we've got six on there so we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all of those okay now sometimes you might want to yarn over and do a chain just to tighten it up i'm not if you do do that then don't count it as a stitch when you're working into the next row so you can see here you've got the top of the stitches so for this one, I'm actually working a single crochet in between and then I'm going to work my bobble again. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you've got three, yarn over, pull through just those first two. Okay, repeat that four more times. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so I've done two stitches, I've got three loops. So repeat. And then we've got four loops, which means we've got three stitches. Repeat it again. We've now got five loops, which means we've got four stitches. And then one more. Now we've got our six loops, so we're gonna yarn over. Now notice when I yarn over and I'm pulling the hook through, I'm pulling it with the hook down because I find it easier to go through the stitches that way. And then we're done. We have our bobble. And you can see it stands quite tall compared to that one that I put the stitch next to. So when I put that single crochet next to it, that pulls it down and makes it shorter. So you get to play with that a little bit as well and it turns it more into a little bowl. Okay, so I'll do one more in real time, kind of, my yarn's getting stuck. So we've got five, we need one more. Sorry, just pull some yarn. Pull through all six. And we're done with, we've got a bobble. Okay, so there's some fun with some texture.